Boys, girls, cats, and squirrels, what is going on? My name is Slightly Salted, and welcome back to the Pokemon Emerald Randomizer Nuzlocke 2.0 kind of thing. 2.0 isn't in the title, but it's pretty much our 2.0, because this is the second season, essentially, of our series, because the first season kind of caved on us. It crapped out. So we were like, screw it, we're not going to continue this season, we're just going to restart it. Um, I didn't mention this in the last episode, because the episode was actually recorded before I decided to make that decision. So, um, yeah, here's me letting you know. I ended up, uh, it's in the description of last episode, so if you really want all the details, you could go in the description, but I don't really go into it too much there either. Just, I just didn't, after waste, after losing four hours of footage, I didn't, uh, not four hours, two hours of footage, and, like, I changed the layout, I changed the thumbnail, I changed a lot about the series, besides the rules, pretty much. Um, I just found it wasn't worth keeping it as the same series so i just made it like a second series almost but yeah we're back let's get into today's episode with a nice team recap because i need a refresher we got triggered the kingdra with that water absorb ability rocking moves water smoke screen bubble and leer and he's holding lucky egg lucky egg to get him up some levels then we've got smashed our mewtwo with white smoke no item and he has the moves Confusion, Disable, and Barrier. Then we got Coded, the Porygon, with the Sturdy ability. No item, and he has Tackle, Conversion 2, and Conversion. And I think that is all for our team. Let's get on with today's video. We're in the Pokemon Center, we never healed. So we might as well heal. And, uh, yeah. So, um, how y'all doing today? Hope you're having a beautiful day. My day's not bad. Uh, just woke up. Had a nice wedding yesterday. Cousin got married. And uh, it was a fun time. Gave my little brother his first taste of alcohol. That was so fun. I was so fired up the entire night. Just because my mom let me give him some alcohol. Oh. Uh, but yeah. It was an awesome night. I do not condone underage drinking. Unless you are my sibling. But then again. I do not condone getting hammered underage. You didn't get him hammered. He had a sip. Like... Okay, he had a little bit more than a sip, but he did not get drunk, like, nowhere close. Why'd I do that? If this guy has an ice-type move, that could be very bad. I should probably mute that. I don't know if you guys heard, but uh, my Xbox just went up. Oh. You guys are gonna hear my chair squeak now? Yeah, okay, so he didn't have an ice-type move. Oh my god, he went for Encore. I meant to go down to Pokemon, and I messed up. Okay, it's neutral, isn't it? Water resist, dragon super effective, beautiful. Alright, we're gonna go into smashed. Smash should be able to take a hit and also dish one. Power confu powerful confusion right back at him. But um yeah. It was just a sip. Like he wasn't drunk, we weren't getting him hammered. We just gave him a nice little taste, me and my older brother. Yeah. But uh, other than that, it was a, it was a fun night. Yo, this place, yeah, weddings are expensive. Um, it's expensive for the bride to pay for, it, and it's just, it's kind of expensive when you go to give a gift. Um, like it was a hundred fifty dollars per plate. So like, ended up having to give three hundred, which isn't bad. Uh, well, I gave more than three hundred, but like, because I gave a little bit of a gift to, like a little bit extra as like more of a gift. Um. But, um, yeah, it, it was pretty expensive. Like, there was a lot of food. Like, you get there, and there's a buffet set up. Well, at, at this wedding, at least. Not at all weddings, but at this wedding, you got there, and there's a buffet set up. So I was like, okay, all right, I eat. So I'm like, this must be the appetizer. So I, like, I made a pretty decent plate. Like, there was chicken there, shrimp and rice, um... Cold cuts, bread, cheese, potatoes. There was other stuff too, but I forget at the moment. Um, it was like packed. So I packed my plate, thinking this is an appetizer and I'm starving. Eat all that, it fills me up. What else? Then you got appetizers galore. We ended up getting a pasta, a salad, and then we got our main course meal. And the main course meal was pretty big. 
Uh, it wasn't the greatest. It was it, we got meat. I I don't really know what kind of meat, but it was tender, but almost flavorless. So like, I really wish it had more flavor. But what are you gonna do? And then after that, we had dessert. Oh my god, dessert was popping. So we had our midnight like snack table, which featured poutine, smoked meat sandwiches, and many hot dogs. That was delish. We had a cafe, a cafe bar open. That was also amazing. Coffee with Bailey's cannot go wrong. Oh. And then we also had a donut wall. Yes, a donut wall. They had donuts pinned to a wall, and you could just take one and go. Those donuts were so good. Oh. At least the one I took was. One my brother had, that one was a little bit stale, but mine was so moist in the chocolate coat covering. Oof. I was a big fan. But yeah, donuts were great. Then there was a gelato. Gelato was decent. I, I wasn't a big fan of the gelato. I didn't like the taste. I liked the the waffle that came into it. But yeah. And then there was also waffle cone custard. There was custard filled waffle cones, which was sick and pretty tasty. But um, yeah, there was just a lot there. So like, yeah, weddings are expensive, but there was a lot. And it was an open bar. And like, well... With my family, if you don't have an open bar, you get, like, shat on, essentially. It's like, not by me, but, like, by the rest of the family. My family's huge, and everybody always has open bars. And then there was this one person that didn't have an open bar. It was, like, semi-open. Like, it was only open for, like, really, really, really cheap stuff. And, um, yeah, they got shat on. Ooh, a water stone. That could come in handy in the future. What do we got here? Oh, let's take on the grunt. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's see what this guy has. Uh, what are we going to be fighting? But yeah, weddings in general. Weddings are pretty expensive. But the food was tasty. It's pretty sad, though, that all the appetizers were much tastier than the main meal. Like, the main meal had some mashed potatoes underneath, and it had a bar- it had, like- It wasn't really a gravy. I think it was supposed to be a gravy, but, like, what gravy's red? Like, a barbecue gravy's red? But it didn't taste like barbecue. Um, so, it was kind of weird. But, um, it was good. I mean, the gravy tasted good on the mashed potatoes. Uh, the meat might, might have tasted better if it had that gravy on it, too. Because, like, the meat was, like I said, the meat was flavorless. Oh, no, 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 no. What am I doing wrong? What did this person go for? Oh, nightshade. Okay, we're good, we're good. That's going to bring me down to, what, seven? Yeah, okay. And we are faster. I'm just going to go for a water gun. And I'll heal up after this battle. I think I'm going to get this guy to, like... 13, maybe even 14, and then train back up Mewtwo. Create a powerful duo. I'm not going to train up Porygon, because then Porygon can be used to, like, whittle down, um, wild Pokemon in case my Pokemon are too high of a level. In order to catch them. Because I want another powerful one on the team. Like, I don't have Mewtwo, so that's already asking a lot. And I got Kingdra, too. But I don't want to use Porygon. That's not happening. Porygon, just... I don't know. Look at him. Like, I'm pretty sure his move his move pool is not the greatest. Like, it's the greatest when it comes to TMs, because you could put a lot of TMs on him. But, like, TMs are randomized in this, right? Randomized TMs and, um, like, the compatibility is randomized via, um, via typing. It's preferred typing. So, like, he might not get that many good TMs. And, like, his learn set, his level up learn set is probably not the greatest. Then again, I don't really know, but I also just don't want to use them. I'm sorry if, like, Porygon's your favorite mon. But, yeah. Alright, let's continue on. Let's see what this guy's gonna have. I feel like there's hidden items I'm missing. I have a really big feeling I'm missing hidden items. Like I said, if you know where the hidden items are, let me know down below. You know what? Sticking on the wedding thing, I think the question of the day is going to be, like, 
what's the one main thing you want at your wedding? Like, I know for me, I want a midnight taco bar. And some really good food. Like, just, just like, I don't give a shit how the wedding is. But, like, I need really good food at my wedding. Like, I'm going all out for food. Um, but yeah, if you kind of heard me giggle, my girlfriend's in the room with me while I am recording. She kind of just made me laugh. Just being a little pain. That's also why if you hear any background noises, it's because she's being loud. I just offended her so much because she's trying to be as quiet as possible. She just came out of the shower. She closed the door really quietly. It's hilarious, but I love messing with her. But, um, yeah. So, what is, like, the main thing you want at your wedding? Like, what would be your dream wedding? For me, my dream wedding is great food and an open bar. And a coffee bar. I need a coffee bar. Is that Cafe Olay with Bailey's? Mm. And we need one for Kyle, too. So Kyle's named my little brother, and that's the one that we gave alcohol to. So he had a sip of my rum and coke, and then he also had a coffee with me with Bailey's in it. We put less Bailey's in his, but, like, that was his first time ever having Bailey's alcohol. That was one of the first times that he really had caffeine. Aha, my hunch was right. I, I'm like, that looks like there would be a hidden item there. I checked. There was a hidden item. Aha. But, um, yeah, he usually doesn't drink coffee. He's tried my mom's coffee before and didn't like it. Uh, and then, like, I gave him a, a sip of my coffee with Bailey's in it, and he's like, that's actually pretty good. So I looked at my mom, I'm like, can I give him one? And she's like, whatever, sure. And my mom was sober, so it's not like I was taking advantage of her because she was drunk or anything, and then, like, I, like, oh, she's drunk, she'll totally say yes to this. No, my mom was a designated driver for the night, so she didn't really drink that much, so she wasn't drunk. So, that was her genuinely saying yes. It's all good. It's all good in the hood. And, like, I'd also like to say, like, we already have a low drinking age in Quebec. I live in Quebec, Canada. I've mentioned that before in one of the older videos. But, like, our drinking age is 18 compared to other provinces where it's 19 and other countries where it's 21. So, like... It was awesome that she let me let him have alcohol. <laughs> I was just so fired up for the entire night. Oh, I hope this uh, pursuit doesn't really work on any of the mons, really. Also, just pursuit in regular Nuzlocke's just isn't the greatest because, like... Oh, I just accidentally clicked off the game. Um, pursuit in um, regular Nuzlocke's just isn't that great. It, um... Like, it's for when people switch out their Pokemon, so, like, how often do Pokemon get switched out? Watch, now that I'm saying this, next battle we get into, the guy's gonna switch out his Pokemon. But, like, how do you predict that the guy's gonna switch out his Pokemon? Like, you can't. The only time I've really seen somebody predict was, um, in one of those ep Not predict. The only time I've ever seen somebody really switch was in, uh, in one of those lost episodes. That I had the two episodes that kind uh, the four episodes that kind of got lost. Yeah. There was a guy that switched out his Pokemon like seven times. I was shocked. But you know, two hours of recorded footage that can't be used. I love that so much. And one of those episodes recorded so much wasted time. That's about like three to four hours of just pure wasted time between the recordings and the editing. Three to four hours wasted time down the drain, already deleted. Deleted even from my recycling bin because I was so pissed. You know what gets me salty? That. That gets me salty. Like, not even slightly salted. Salted to the point where you try to add some salt to your recipe, but then as you're shaking the shaker, the top falls up and you just end up dumping the entire bottle. That much salty. It gets me friggin' salty. That thing about the bottle cap falling off, that's only happened to me once. I had just refilled the salt shaker, and um, apparently I didn't screw on the top enough. I like, turned it, 
and turned it, and it just kept turning. So I'm like, okay, must be here. Apparently there was a locking mechanism somewhere, though. I missed it. I don't know how, because I stood there for a minute just turning it. I'm like, why isn't this locking? But, um, yeah. Alright, Trigger's up to 14, so I think we should take the Lucky Egg off of him, put it on Mewtwo, and, uh, get on with our day. And then toss Mewtwo in the front, too. Alright, we're gonna open up the team. Yeah, what else do I want at my wedding? Um... This is just gonna be the episode of the wedding. Amanda, what's one thing that you want at your wedding? My girlfriend's name is Amanda, also known as Slightly Sweet. No, she doesn't do YouTube, but, like, that's what I call her. I'm Slightly Salty. She's slightly sweet. Together we're sweet and salty. But, um... Yeah. What's one thing you want at your wedding? Or our wedding? A short ceremony. Like the one yesterday? Yeah, the ceremony yesterday was 20 minutes. See, I absolutely love that, but one thing I hate about that is... So, the ceremony was 40 minutes away from my house. The ceremony started at 2.30. Lasted till 2.50. Reception was at uh, 5.30. Two and a half hours. Nothing to do. So I literally went home. Um, I, I took the 40-hour drive and just went home and then took the 40-hour drive back. So that was 160 minutes yesterday. I went driving. We could have gone to Ottawa. I know Ottawa doesn't sound special to you guys, but... <laughs> It's nice. It's nice to go. Actually, we could have gone to the States. We could have gone to Plattsburgh. <laughs> that would have been better. And use the money that we would have spent at the wedding. <laughs> go get a nice... Go to Texas Roadhouse. Oh, my God. If you guys have ever been to Texas Roadhouse, you know what I'm talking about. That shit is beautiful. Oh, my God. The food is so good. It's so nicely priced, too. And the, it's pr nicely priced after the conversion. So, if I took how much it costed at, uh, at Texas Roadhouse, converted the price to like Canadian dollars it would equal the same amount as like a normal meal I would get here going to scores but Texas Roadhouse would be so it's so much better I don't know if you guys know what scores is I don't know if scores is in the states uh if you do then you know what I'm talking about but like scores is just not the greatest Texas Roadhouse that shit is the greatest the only thing that scores has going for them is a salad bar now it's a pretty pretty fire salad bar but like I'd rather Texas Roadhouse and on top of it, you guys in the States, you get free refills. We don't get that shit in Canada. We have to pay for every refill. And refills, like, nowadays are, like, three fifty, dollars Or it's like, yeah, your first one's three fifty, and then the other ones after that are, like, $2 each. Woo! But it's like, I don't want to spend that kind of money. All right, we're going to go for a confusion and a water gun on the Wobbuffet. That should take it out, right? Take it out, take it out, I take it out, I take it out, I take it out. Oh, that's not going to take it out. Oh, this is not going to take it out. Oh, that took it out. Oh, I got so worried. Oh, my God. I gave him the lucky egg, right? Yeah. He's just a Mewtwo, so it's going to take a while to level him up. Can you just slower than Mewtwo? Wow, I don't even remember choosing uh, Kingdra's uh, moves. But Mewtwo is a speedy boy. But yeah, so the ceremony was short and like, yeah. But like, yeah, this is going to be the episode we talk about weddings. So what else do I want at my wedding? So yeah, I can agree with Amanda. I want a short ceremony. Yo, what the hell just happened? I am sorry about that. Uh, there's no way to fix that. <laughs> there's no way to fix that in the recording, because I did it to the gameplay. So, um, yeah, and it captures the entire window, but even if it just can't captured my entire monitor, I would still not be able to fix that. So I'd have to stretch it back out myself, and that would look terrible. Oh, well, we're just going to roll with it. Um, but yeah, I can agree with that. I want a nice short ceremony. I also want, like peaceful ceremony like i wouldn't mind an outside ceremony but like one where it like had a gazebo or something like but for everybody in case it rains so we could still have it outside even if it rains and all honesty and if i have a roof like if i have a roof on top while we're outside 
I would even like it to rain because the rain would be I love rain and the rain I just find would make it so romantic I sound like a girl right now but that's okay um weddings are just sick okay and like at my reception I just want it to be fire I want I want a good DJ I'm not gonna get a band because bands have to take breaks and I just want to keep the party going all night long and I want a good DJ I want somebody that's fire playing music like one thing I hated about yesterday's DJ he claims he's an entertainer he only really started entertaining getting on the floor and stuff with the crowd like past midnight but this was a family wedding oh Mewtwo can't hit this guy we got to swap out this was a family wedding that had a bunch of kids at it like past midnight all the kids are gone and like there's a lot less people because the parents left with their kids so why would you wait till after midnight you got to bust those things out at like 10 11 get the kids hyped up and then the kids would have stayed and yeah it would have been fire i would love to get get the party going on the dance floor with some kids but yeah and he just had a lot of music where it was like we'd go from classic music where everybody was like yeah pumped just pure like not even dance music just pure electronic music that had no words but like my family was like i keep using the word like and it's annoying me i'm hearing it i know it's annoying me too uh however i don't know what else to say uh so my family loves to dance but they also love to sing along so if you, there's no words in the song and if they don't know the song they can't sing along so what are they gonna do so like every time there was just electronic music the dance floor was empty so like i want a DJ that keeps the party going all night long. And I'll be up there dancing on the wedding night. I don't have a camera, so you guys just didn't see my wonderful dancing. Yeah. One day. One day I'll get a nice, uh, a nice face cam going. See, I just said that and winked. Winked at you guys like, I'm going to get a face cam. Not like to be like, yeah, right, I'm getting a face cam out. It's just like a wink, like peep it, peep it. But um, yeah, Shoal Salt doesn't really do anything. As far as I know. If Shoal Salt does do something, and I just don't know what it does, let me know in the comments down below. But yeah, the overall question of the day is, what is like one thing, or what are what is like your dream wedding, essentially? Like you don't have to go into detail, but like food. Like what kind of food you want there? Me. The meals is going to be the classic stuff. I want the classic stuff. I want the pasta. I want the salad. I want, like, the chicken meat or vegetarian option. Uh, I would say chicken meat or pasta option, but the thing is, like... Okay, I want a super potion. Can I buy one super potion? I'm actually going to sell Pursuit. I'm going to sell Pursuit so I can buy more potions. This might come back to bite me in the ass one day. But, like, that's okay. So I want another super potion. And then I'm going to load up on three potions. Two potions. That's okay. Alright. Uh, what was I talking about? Wedding. Yeah, food. So I want the classic food, but like... That buffet at the beginning was actually really cool. But like that buffet should have been at four. Like we should have... The reception should have started at four. We went for four. Had the reception... Uh, had the buffet, hung out, danced a little, started drinking, getting our drink on, and then got into like, um, and then like later, start the meal, start the pasta, the salad, the stuff. And yeah, I need these. <laughs> I moved away from my mic, but that was still really loud. I'm sorry. Oh my god. So sorry about that. But yeah, that's what should have happened. And that's what's going to happen at my wedding. At my wedding, my reception is going to be at 3. Uh, no. Yeah. No. My ceremony is going to be at 3. It'll last till 3.30. After the recep after the ceremony, we're going to send everybody to the hall. Right? They can go to the hall. They can hang out for a bit. While we, like... While we take our pictures. Or I might take our pictures. No, we take our pictures after the wedding. Because I can't see the bride in her dress before the wedding. Yeah, da, da, da. So like from 3.30 till 4. 
we'll take pictures or for, till 4.30, whatever. No, we'll have our wedding at 2.30. Wedding at 2.30? I don't know. We'll figure it out. Just wedding. I want quick pictures. I don't need a lot of pictures. Never mind. Apparently, I need a lot of pictures. Slightly Sweet just gave me a dirty look. No, uh, you gave me a dirty look. You want a lot of pictures. But you know the pictures you want, so it should go rather quickly. As long as everybody is there and present. But, um... Yeah. So, see, why my girlfriend wants a lot of pictures? She's really into photography. So she, if we don't get good pictures, and if we don't go all out on photography, then she's going to be very salty. And she's going to have to change her name to Slightly Salty, which means I'm going to have to become the sweet. We got a swap here. We got a Crawdon. I don't like Crawdon. He resists Kingdra's moves right now because Kingdra doesn't have a dragon type uh, move yet. And you two can't hit him yet. I'm hoping Roxanne gives us like a fire TM. Either teach the Mewtwo or like a dragon type TM to teach the triggered. And um, yeah, that would be fire. Or I, I want a good encounter. We should have gotten our encounter before this. That's what I need. They're getting, they're both at level 14 now. I need a new encounter to train him up. Having this lucky egg is going to get me so good on levels. I'm going to be so powerful. If I lose this lock with a lucky egg right from the get-go, like we had a lucky egg before gym one. If I lose this lock, that's going to be bad. Unless we came a team of like the pure legendaries, then I can understand. But like, if we don't, then that's bad. Yo, so what do we got? What do we got? We got a Starmie. That's literally two types we already have. I'm going to catch it, but once again, probably not going to be used. Like, he's water psychic. We have a psychic type. We have a water type. I don't need him. And he was a stone evolution, so his move pool doesn't change. Whatever he has right now. Are you kidding? Yeah, no, you're getting killed. He has Truant. The Pokemon has Truant. I am salty. Not really, I'm not that salty, but like... If this was a powerful Mon, I would have been a lot more salty. Like, Starmie is awesome. Would he have lived the confusion? No. Uh, Starmie's cool. But like, I'm not that sad. I also didn't need Starmie. Alright, let's go around him. Let's go to the cave now. Grab our cave encounter. See, I feel like there's a hidden item in this patch of grass because of all the empty grass. But I don't want to go check em ev uh, I don't want to go check every empty spot. So then I'll be here for like the next five minutes left in the video. But, um, five? Three? Eh, ish? Four? Yeah. But, um... What was I going to say? Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, weddings. Oh no. I just need food. DJ. Open bar. Good bartenders. That's what I need. Yesterday. Yesterday I contemplated not drinking. Because I grabbed my first drink. And the bartender like put 90% rum, 10% coke. Okay. You want to give me one like that? Sure, let's get this party friggin' started. You want to get me hammered right from the get-go? Yeah, let's do it. But when you're making drinks all night like that, no, it's... You're tasting too much alcohol. If I wanted to just taste pure alcohol, I'd grab a shot. I'd grab a glass of whiskey. I'd grab a glass of rum. I wanted a rum and coke. Not a rum and... Cuh. I can't even call it rum and coke. He didn't put enough coke in it to ca carry all the letters. But he gave me a rum and cuh. That's what I'm going to call it now. Whenever somebody gives me 90% rum and 10% coke, it's a rum and cuh. Cuh. But, um... Yeah, so then I'm like, maybe it's just with the rum and coke he's bad with. I'm like, let, let me grab a sex on the beach. Nope. That sucked too. It was so alcoholic. 
Then, then we thought about doing shots. I'm like, let's do tequila sunrise shots. We're like all down. This was after a shot of tequila. It tasted pe like pure tequila with a splash of pi uh, pineapple juice. Uh, sorry, a splash of orange juice. Splash. Yeah. No, thank you. It, it, we just did shots of tequila. If we wanted more shots of tequila, we would have ordered more shots of tequila. We did more shots of tequila later. But, um... That was also another thing that was cool. So I'm almost 21, so I've been almost legal for three years. This was the first time me and my family took shots together. Like, me, my brother, my girlfriend, my brother's girlfriend, and my mom. That was the first time we took shots together. Um... As, like, family shots. So, like, me and my brother were pumped about that. But, uh, yeah. Was this just a wild encounter? Could I have just ran from this? See, I would have rathered a dust That would have been sick. I would have had two people weak to dark types, but that's okay. Does Mewtwo learn Swift at 22? What does he learn at 22? Now I need to know this. Or is it something like Mind Reader? I'm hoping it's not something like Mind Reader. But, um, I want another attacking move on Mewtwo. Hopefully Roxanne gives us a TM. Like I said, I want a powerful TM, though. I don't want to get, like, Ackle. Then again, it could be worse. I could get the TM for Leer. I'm going to be so salty if it's TM for Leer. Okay, which one am I more worried about? I could Oko the Gengar. And then I could do that. I'll smoke screen the Raichu. But Raichu's only going to have Thundershock, so I don't think one Thundershock is going to kill Triggered. Uh, Gengar is gone. A Gengar. Be down for that. Let's just get a Gen 1 team going on. Is Trigger Gen 1? Is Kingdra Gen 1? I don't know. Kingdra. According to Pokemon.com, Kingdra sleeps on the seafloor where it is otherwise devoid of life. When a storm arrives, the Pokemon is said to awaken and wander about in search of prey. Kingdra lives at extreme ocean depths that are otherwise uninhabited. Oh, well, now you know what Kingdra is. Um, I just wanted to know if it was Gen 1 or not. No, it's number 230. It's Gen 2. Was... Is this pre-evolutions? Gen 1? Let me check this now. Because it wasn't... Yeah, it is. Yeah, his pre-evolutions were Gen 1. So I'm still going to count this as a Gen 1 team. Like... Even though his evolution only came in Gen 2, it's still pretty much a Gen 1 team. It's all mons that should have been in Gen 1. Shoulda. Shoulda, coulda, woulda. But didn't. Come on, Pokemon. Like, all those... Um, like, I'm following this guy on Twitter. Dr. Labo, right? Something like that. I think that's his name. I'll link it in the description down below. Go check, go check him out on Twitter. And while you're checking him out, check me out on Twitter, too. Uh, you know what? We're at 31 minutes, but I want this encounter, so we're gonna wrap it up after this encounter. Once I catch this encounter, that's where we're gonna end the video. And we'll get on with our day. Because I got stuff to do. Not really. I'm about to go to my brother's hockey game. After this, I'm literally gonna end it. I'm gonna go upstairs, grab a bowl of cereal. And then I'm pretty much... Actually, I'm gonna get dressed first, because I'm only in shorts right now. I'm kind of like... even. I'm even shirtless. I'm looking fine yeah but um was there anything that i got cut off mid-sentence while i started talking about the game about pokemon uh not pokemon about the wedding um no i think i said pretty much it and i talked about like what what my wedding's gonna be like just i'd be down for an outdoor wedding like in a nice Almost woodsy area, but not too much good woods, because too much woods, too many bugs. But, like, a nice countryside. Countryside wedding, you know, with, like, a gazebo, maybe a lake in the background. Like, when you're looking at the bride and groom, you see a nice lake in the background or something. Like, you know, the cliche, cliche outdoor movie weddings. Because the cliche church weddings, I don't want that, because then some random short-ass kid is going to walk in going, I object! Like, in every wedding that seems to be in it, every time a wedding's in a church in a movie, expect somebody to run in saying, I object. You're gonna run in to object your own wedding? Your own wedding. Okay. Why are you objecting? You don't know. 
You can talk. You're probably gonna procrastinate, yep. She's gonna object her own wedding because she's gonna procrastinate. Oh, let's grab this item. Let's grab this item. What's this item? Ooh, a cherry berry. You are useless right now. Well, not right now. You're just pretty much useless. What does a cherry berry even do? I forget. Oh, it heals paralysis. See, you're useless. I already had four of them. All right. Let's grab this encounter and let's wrap up the episode. Oh, yay. The glitch where nothing looks good. I think that happened in last season, too. Oh. This is a slap in the face. Why is this a slap in the face? It Because this is a Magikarp. Mag Magikarp's evolution. Gyarados. Fantastic. That's three water types in a row, by the way. Um, Yeah. Evolution. Fantastic. We had a Gyarados. We caught a Gyarados in those four lost episodes. We caught a Gyarados in the first lost episode. Gyarados is so much more power. I would have rathered a Gyarados. But no, now I have to get this guy up to level 20. This guy is probably going to join the team, but... I'm going to have to switch train him. Why'd I go into you? Maybe he can hit a bubble. You know what? That's what we're going to do. If he can live this bubble, then he can join the team. He'll probably live it. If he doesn't, then again. Okay, there we go. See, that looks like he's at about 55%. Which means I might be able to hit him, but it could have been a low roll. We might not be getting a Magikarp. Let's see what happens. Woo! That was close. That was close. He survived, though. Alright, let's catch him. Let's bring him on the team. What are we going to name this guy? We'll name, slightly sweet name him. No. No. Right, you haven't seen episode one because episode one's not out yet. So what we're doing for this series is like everything's got to be under like slightly something. And it has to end in ED. So it's got to be like a verb almost. So like right now we've got slightly coded. We've got slightly triggered. We've got slightly smashed. Slightly. No swearing. I should be bleeping that. If it catches you up but this mic catches all background noise but so I'll probably caught that but then again i did say the f word in my first video in the first series i got really pissed off talking about the lo four lost episodes and i just screamed a mother effer i was so it was in the moment i was salty all right so we are gonna name this magic heart slightly rattled after slightly sweet It's going to sound like a dumb question. Do you know what I'm going to ask already? Is it spelled with a T or a D? <laughs> See, I'm thinking rattlesnake and rattlesnake is with T's. Rattle? T T T T L E D. All right, we're good. Alright, so now it's slightly rattled on the team. We are going to pick up this Pokeball. Ooh, a Safari Ball. I don't even know if we can use that. Uh, now that we've got Magikarp on the team, we are going to wrap up right here. Let me get a quick save going on, cause, or else I will forget to save. Because I did episode... Was it episode one? No, it was in the four lost. After I recorded episode one of the lost recordings, I forgot to save and I closed the tab. So then I had to reopen, replay all of episode one. And yeah, so that wasn't nice. I wasn't happy about that. I replayed an entire episode for nothing. But yeah, so that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. We are almost hitting the 40 minute mark now. So the video is probably going to be about 36, 37 minutes long. But either way, I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did enjoy, hit that like button. Comment down below with the answer to the question of the day. What is like the main thing you want at your wedding? Slash, what is your dream wedding? If you really want to write me a paragraph about what your dream wedding is. Or like, if you already got married. What was your favorite thing about your wedding? Besides like, 
don't get sap me up, sappy on me and say like the vows or something like non like materialistic items what was your favorite thing about the wedding um also if you guys are enjoying the content here on the channel please hit the subscribe button it means a lot thank you guys for watching and i'll catch you guys in the next one stay salty